here is a paddle holder that I uh, designed and have used on probably a dozen trips now and it works pretty well. I had a new kayak so I created a new one for it. It was slightly different and this is the first time I've used a Scotty mount. So what I've done is created this to use with a Scotty mount. You can see the Scotty mount there. Now, you have to measure your kayak paddle uh, dimension of the shaft. In my case, uh, it was a little, probably just uh, slightly bigger than one inch. So I have a hole saw that is an inch and a quarter. And uh, we started off with a piece of wood that is roughly four and a half by two and a half. And you will also need a carriage bolt that is a uh, quarter 20 so quarter inch in diameter and it is four and a half inches long a washer for the quarter inch and I've taken and just slightly flattened that because the Scotty mount has a uh, tag in there that kind of holds it in place you turn, put it in and turn so to lock it in, in there so it won't come out and I've used a um, nylon lock nut there and you'll also need uh, one inch long by half inch in diameter uh, and a quarter inch uh, inside uh, anchor for a lag bolt and you also need a sprinkler riser and the reason you need the sprinkler riser is that is what is going to fit into the um, Scotty mount and with the Scotty mount as you can see the uh, Scotty has the teeth right there that grab so that the item won't twist. And on a riser, it has these um, set up for basically using it with a wrench to tighten your riser, your sprinkler riser. So this is a half inch sprinkler riser. And what happens is that goes in there. And then if you can see that, it fits right in and it will sink down in there and hold tight. So, what I've done is taken that part, and as you can see, I've cut a piece right there. So this is uh, one inch, nine sixteenths long, and if you can take a good look at that, if I can get it to focus, basically left the uh, ring above the um, nut portion of that riser and cut down to there and in total it measures one inch nine sixteenths. So starting back with this piece of wood you take and draw a center line right through the center of your piece of wood measure top to bottom get your center line I'm going to come in this side is the important side about an inch and a quarter in to the edge and you're going to drill with your hole saw two holes side by side there and then there and they're basically they're going to overlap ever so slightly then you'll just take a saw and cut here and here and then I used a chisel to chisel and flatten that and also on the bottom because you'll have a you'll have a ring there so this I've left a little bit of a lip to and there's also a slight lip on the bottom and the reason for that is this little lip will catch your paddle um, when you when you slide it in there uh, the next step after you've trimmed all this out is to drill a hole, quarter inch hole in the bottom, or actually through it, I'm sorry. And then you take your four and a half inch carriage bolt and that runs through. And then what I've done is I've tapped that down with a hammer to seat it down in there. Now that you have the bolt through there, you're going to slip this on, 
with the thread of the uh, nut side up. You're going to take your anchor and just thread that on. Now that you've got that all the way down on there, you can see it right through there. You put your washer on and the nut goes on. You tighten that down and you want to push your washer over so that the flat edge on there is like so and kind of keep it there give them another quarter turn to snug it and that's it it will now drop right in flat spot where is my flat spot there so that flat spot is now going to go in past and then that is going to sit right down inside like so and that will mount on wherever you want like so I'll turn it like this and it will go right on there just like so and your paddle will slip right down into here and slide over and that way it won't fall out I'll show you that on the kayak okay so here it is here's our paddle holder flat edge it's gonna go right inside that Scotty holder there I keep this side toward the water goes in like so sits down right inside there it's not going to turn or twist on us we'll take our paddle I usually go under my bungee here and drop it right in the slot slide it over and it's locked in there if it wants to come out let's start sliding back it's trying to go overboard that uh, the uh, drip cup holds it there even if it's over to the side the drip cup still holds it and as you can see it just kind of pops right out easy access right in slide it over and it'll stay in position hope that was helpful